Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's Market Analyst for Australia. The recent spike in bond yields, coupled with the unfolding geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, seem to have served as a catalyst for a much-anticipated dovish pivot from the Federal Reserve. The dovish pivot to which I refer isn't one that suggests the Fed is about to start aggressively cutting interest rates. Rather, Fed speakers have displayed a hawkish bias of late, evidence of which the recent FOMC meeting that showed 12 of 19 Fed officials favoured another rate hike before year end. This week, however, Fed speakers have sounded more dovish, noting that tightening financial conditions reduces the need for rate rises, thereby signalling an end to the Fed's tightening cycle. As a result of this, today I wanted to highlight an attractive technical setup in the ASX 200 IT sector, which has been heavily impacted since August by the Fed's hawkish bias and rising long-term interest rates. The chart ahead of you is the ASX 200 IT sector. This is the load that we saw back in June 2022. And from this low point, the ASX 200 IT sector has taken a sharp rally up until August of this year. Now, from August of this year coincides with when US yields started to rise significantly. The result of which we spoke about was that Fed dovish pivot, which we highlighted just a moment ago. The pullback appears to have been orderly, coming back down towards the 1,651 low which also picks up support coming from the 1635 high coming from August 2022. In terms of if we do start to confirm this dovish pivot from the Fed, the high growth tech sector should outperform. In terms of what I think the ASX 200 IT sector can do, I think it could potentially head up towards this 1946 high, up towards this area here, which is about 10 to 11% higher. The stop on the bullish view would be if the ASX 200 IT sector broke below this 1,651 swing low that we saw back in early October. You could trade this view via the ASX 200 IT sector ETF CFD, which is listed on the IG platform. Thank you for listening. 